What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another banger for y'all, man. So look. 2024, Six Nations, round two. Ireland versus Italy, extended highlights. You're about to run this up one time for the one time, man. And look, I ain't feeling too great. All right? Scotland let me down. They should have won that game. It went down to the final call on if a try was held up or not. And I think it was down. But they still should have won it even without that. Wales let me down. I don't know what happened. They just didn't know what to do all of a sudden. And they lost that game against England that they should have won. <sighs> now we got Ireland versus Italy. I'm pretty confident Ireland is going to win. But the way this weekend been going on so far, I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm pretty sure Ireland going to win. But anyways, let's get into this one. Ireland versus Italy. Round two. Let's check it out. Um, let's see what they got going, man. It's also Super Bowl today, man. So if you guys are interested in NFL, I am going to be watching like probably the first half of the Super Bowl and maybe like the fourth quarter. But I will be doing a reaction to the highlights probably tomorrow when they drop. So be on the lookout for those, assuming I can get them up on uh, YouTube. Let's get to it. Changes, as I said, for Ireland. Porter Sheen and Phelan in for Tyke Furland. Ryan alongside McCarthy in the second row. Jack Conan in. Ryan Baird in. Kalen Doris moves to number seven and captains the side. A change at nine as well for Craig Casey is in. Gibson Park goes to the bench. McCluskey in at 12. Put Craig Casey in and Gibson Park on the bench? I don't know how I feel about that. Bundiaki drops out of the 23. Low, Keenan and Nash continue as Ireland. And they dropped Bundiaki? Back three. As for the Italians, well, four changes, two of those in the backs and two of them in the pack. In comes Isicor and Zuliani, out go Negri and Canone Jr. And that is an eight to be reckoned with. Change at scrum half as well for the Italians. Varney in, Garbisi Jr. drops out. And Capuozzo plays at 15. Tommaso Allen drops to the bench. I like Tommaso Allen. Is the look at those benches. You feel in Henderson, Van der Fleer, Gibson Park, and the returning Jordan Larmer. Ireland have so many options there. Should the 15 that start not go about their business in the Come way on, Ireland, let's do something, baby. Wishes to see. Show blast of the whistle from Luke Pearson. We're off and running at the Aviva Stadium as Ireland against Italy. It's the third match of round two in the Guinness Six Nations for 2024. And Ireland immediately looking to set some pace about this game. And back it goes from Casey to Lowe to Crowley, who in oh, many ways great kick, showed bro. a maturity beyond his experience in Paris. When things didn't go his way, he was able to shrug it off and get on with it. Here's a young man who'll test him every time he kicks badly. Capuozzo sets the Italians on their way. Crowley. McCluskey up to that 22 again. Ioanni's come in off his wing. That's him to make the Oh, jump good off. jump off. Crowley who gets it off to Nash and Casey and Ireland are very Okay, Casey, make it move. In goes Jack Crowley. Crowley with Ireland's first try. Crowley with his first international try. And all of a sudden, it becomes a little bit of space on the outside. Another great offload. He gets to his feet. I love Casey with the quick with the quick moves, man. Wasting no time, seeing there's an opportunity and capitalizing it. Then Jack Crowley coming around the back end. Very perfect. quickly, the combination of the Munster boys, 9 and 10. Thank you very much. My word. Well worked, well executed, and exactly what the crowd wanted. Comes forward, claims it. Just a beautifully balanced runner, isn't it? Barney pulls it back on BC, gets a face full of McCarthy. 13 out of 13. Paul O'Connell so important, but again, McCarthy just reads that combination, that little slip out the back. It wasn't precise. It's gone too far to the left. And the big second row has pummeled him into the grass. Varney with Casey, nice hands from the hooker. Zuliani gets away from the first tackle of Jack Cohn and sets it up for Varney again. Got BC and Italy warming to the task. Into the 22 they go. Got BC again, big rush up again from McCarthy. He could shift for a big man. I think he wants to play seven. 
another problem for Andy Farrell. Ireland's defensive effort shoves the Italians back outside the 22. The kick comes in and it bounces up kindly. Oh, good. Italy Quick thinking. To touch. Keenan had to play it for a very noisy opening four or five minutes. Ooh, look at that defense! Dashi looks to chase through and get the crowd something to get their teeth and voices into, which they do. Varney is back to rescue it just. You know, Sheenan sees it. Where's the big guy on the right-hand side there in front of Sheenan to stop Sheenan coming through? There isn't, so don't do it. You know, all of a sudden, then you put yourself under pressure. He knows. This guy in the front, he knows. Kick in desperation. McCarthy pulls it back. Ireland have nothing outside of Nash, Damn! but Nash will try and over. burst through. Crowley, great hands, oh, wonderful, McCluskey, Sheehan, that was a thing of beauty. Let's go! Get big on them! For their second try. Get big on them! That's the thing about Italy, though, man. Like, I said this before, bro, I need to get up in that gym, dog. I know they work out, and I know they doing all that, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know all that. But they need to get up in there, bro. Because they be getting bullied by teams, bro. They don't got the strength. They do got speed, but they don't got the same strength as these other European teams. They just don't, bro. They don't. They're not stronger than anybody. <laughs> They're the weakest team by far physically. They're not imposing, none of that. They're quick. But they got to get up in that gym because they getting cracked left and right by, the, by these Irish dudes. <laughs> they getting thrown around, tossed around. Don't nobody want to block for nobody. It's, they getting, they losing the, the, the quick rucks. England's all over it. When, when England's, I'm sorry, Ireland's all over it. When Ireland's on offense, they cleaning them right out. Street sweepers. <laughs> for real, Italy got to get up in that gym, bro. They got to start eating more. Get some more pasta on the menu. You know what I'm saying? Pasta with the steak. You know what I mean? Get them, get that creatine. Get them BCAs. And go hit that bench press. <laughs> Big plates, BCAs, creatine, and bench press. All right? The BBCB. <laughs> the Crowley. Masterful from the young man. It's all about being deep and the no <laughs> look passes. He's got the whole repertoire. He's got the space to do it. And Italy, if you don't close him down, Manicello, who's normally fantastic defensively, simply can't get to them. That is lovely play once again. That is lovely play once again. No, they're just and falling off their bodies. <laughs> just good. It's coming, it's coming all the time. Get up off Italy me. Get off me. All of a sudden, it's a numbers game. Get off me. There's one outside, one more than Italy have got. I'm going to run through you. Much better from the boot to Jack Crowley. Ireland out to 12 points to now. Lowell play scrum half. Crowley again. He's getting an armchair ride. Is Jack Crowley right now? Sheehan almost up to the Italian 22. Low. Trying to test the defence around the fringes. After it goes and gets. Got the steal. Danilo Fischetti. Really good work from the prop. It needed to be because the Italians were being stretched across the pit. That's okay, Giovanni there. Let's go. Michele Lamaro, the captain, comes in too late. He's got his big levers up. The arm is scooped, brought the ball back. There's players on, players on all the time. Unfortunately for Lowe this time, they're not. You could just see. Where's the big forwards clearing that? Where's the second guy? Listen, Crowley's in doing that job, but you don't want to do that. Has his hands on it. No. Machine ain't giving it back as long as they're moving forward. They aren't now. McCluskey. Pulls it back for Crowley. Well, oh, good tackle, really good well tackle. Watched. Manicello, I think, was it? No, Pani, who Pani, made the tackle. Yeah. Italy defended that so There they well. go. Get big on them, Italy. I mean, I still want Ireland in the window. Crowley, they're trying to go wide outside <laughs> okay, to get fine, round the edge. Well. Unfortunately, again, that man, Pani, comes in and smashes the opposite number. And the counter -ruck. this is what one you want from your leaders. Lamoureux in there. The big props are in there. Watch Lamoureux at the back. Unfortunately, he's just going to get there. Oh, knock on. Italy have done a good job of defending Ireland's ball in this first half. Ireland had a little bit of extra weight to see if they could keep the momentum, and they have the momentum. It's Sheehan almost away. Two meters. Yo, this short. camera and angle is crazy. Inches short. Ireland looking for their third try of this first half. Ireland will go again. 
Oh, that's in there. Right through him. Just too much power. In the end, Conan pops over. And Ireland have tried number three. Relax, get it in the middle. Sheenan goes a little bit early there. Don't panic. Rugby is 80% mental, 40% physical. And before you get in the comments saying that don't even equal 100%, you don't know what I'm talking about. And that's okay, because you've never seen the Little Giants. And that's okay, too. And if you have seen the Little Giants, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't panic. But I'm assuming you probably have it. 80% mental, 40% physical. And that's the result. A big end against the small end. You know who's going to win. Out the Italians rush. Crowley keeps his concentration. Farrell has got to be happy with what he's seen from this Irish side. They lead it by 19 points to nil as we tick towards the break. It's a blowout. First half. No, once more. Nice break for Ryan Baird. Now he can motor. He can really, really motor. And eventually, Modiwani gets there. Craig Casey gets the call. I think. Nash was in front of them. He was in front of them. Good kick. Nine, that is half time. Oh, and they have, and that should see them to half time. It does see them to half time without any further damage being done. Ireland, as Dowie said, have never really hit anything better than third gear. But it's been enough with tries from Crowley and Sheehan and Conan. Instrumental in what did after that turnover. He's hurt himself there. This is what Ireland have done in the first half is getting their arms through, just popping the ball up. Oh, right the in runner. those ribs, dog. They do not want to lose him. That's without a doubt. McCluskey with a dump off pass as Crowley comes back inside. Oh, get him off! Another penalty against Six Green, who is Ryan Baird. Relief for Italy, more frustration for Ireland, I've got to say. They are going through the phases, they're getting there, but still plenty of time. Dan Sheehan and Ireland fly out. Taken by Ryan, Sheehan into the back. The mall begins to rumble, and Sheehan... Oh, that's easy work! And is there. Ireland have their bonus point try. Sheehan with his second of the... Ran right through him. Now it makes sense, I think, why they don't have Bundyaki or Gibson Park playing. I think another player isn't playing. And that's probably because they're just kind of taking this week off so that way next week they can prepare for the next uh, the next big game. That's probably what it is. Because they probably knew they could get through Italy without even having their main players in there, now that I think about it. Good afternoon. That's his eighth international try. Is anything nasty? Because it was perfectly done by... Right, well, he was caught about this distance, getting caught up himself. James Ryan gets right up in the middle, and again, there wasn't much pushing back, was there? Turned him around and it slipped right through. Side. You can see Italy trying to roll it around from that left hand side to get him into the midfield. It doesn't work. Everyone's in the van, and the boy behind there is she, and he's got one last week, so he's up to three now. Trying to bring that one in. Doesn't find home. Head off to Wales. Or in fact, host Wales, I should say, in the first half. Oh, get your speed up! Get your speed up! Keenan's got great pace. Get off me! Get off me! Yeah! Get it off, Crowley. Oh, that's to the house! Get off me! Hat trick for the Irish hooker, not to be! Truck stick! We running through y'all! Rosa there as well. Surely Ireland will find a way. Yes, they do. Where your bench press at? How much you bench press? Eventually, Italian resistance is broken. Get big. Get big. Yeah. Sides. Yeah. But if they throw so many yeah, phases, get big. Hold on a chip. Well, he has lost it. That's a try. Whether that tackle again is is held, he's got to release the ball. <laughs> There's so much going on. Over to the referee. I'm sorry, bro. After, you know, taking two L's back to back, bro, with with Wells and Scotland doing me dirty, bro, I got I to gotta have something to be happy for. You know what I'm saying? The Ravens didn't make it to the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson was nowhere to be seen, so I can't even really enjoy the Super Bowl all the way I want to. You know what I'm saying? I got, I need something right now. I need something. Great. Nice practice. 
There's certainly no trying. I think it's tackle complete in my view. And then he goes off his knees. It's not allowed to be. Right then. <laughs> right. Strike that one from the okay. corner. Well, I think mm. that evens up. Whatever. Two Italian players. Robbie Henshaw sets it up again. Harry Byrne. And still holding on to that 22. The Italians just... Oh! Cross. But here's James Lowe. Hits the gas. Oh, and James Lowe, get big on him! Get big! James Lowe reaches out a big one arm to ensure that Ireland have tried number five. Gibson Park at nine is so important to everyone is. Look at this, he's riding tackle. Look at Dragon Cup also. That's fine. There is no problem. You are allowed one attempt. You can't move your body. It doesn't matter where the tackle's made. You're allowed one attempt with the momentum. You know, I like Cup also. I actually really do. Like, he a young, he a young shining star and all that. But he definitely built, like, for sevens. He, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he'd probably be a lot more successful in sevens. He got to gain like 30 pounds, just pure s steak and, and pasta. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he got to put on like 30 pounds, you know what I'm saying? But but outside of that, he's really good. Shining star for sure. And he's not, he's willing to take that ball and make some, try to make something happen with it. He just got to get bigger, man. He goes, got the boots up, bang. <laughs> try. Ooh. Yes, thank you, Eric. That one to Oof. the right and wide. Set piece so important. Plus they get round the field and score tries. Here's Harry Byrne. He attacks the oh. line and he sets James Lowe Skirt. free. Lowe looking for support. Gets it from Henderson and Ireland crash into the Italian 22. Tired Italian bodies. Kalen Doris can't capitalize. Free throw with the dice. Van der Fleer pulls it back. Harry Byrne. McCluskey gets it away, Crowley, oh, that... Gibson Park, one more should do it, Nash to the corner, lots to do! Ooh, they make it y'all, they got y'all running around like a circus! God damn! Got his try in power of God damn! Got his try in the event of God damn! Ireland had their six, God damn! Nothing, just nothing is really good to do. God damn! Nash just said right, <laughs> this may hurt, but I'm going to get over that try line. Just puts his head down. Look at this. Keep the ball available. Look at the depth. Look at the depth. Wait for it. Again, it's... Oh, give some perks game. back in. We've got one more than you, and that's what happens. That's a good kick from Byrne. That's a very good kick. The Aviva now are on their feet. They want one more. They want one more. This ball has gone into the corner. The call is there. The mother's meeting's happening. That boy went Bloody to war today. This proof. Italy Here's done that. really well to stop that Irish. Maul Gibson. Look at GBP. Reaches out. Jamison Gibson Park reaches out in Ireland. It would seem, and it's confirmed, have their seventh try. He knows he's made a mistake. Look, we're all human. It's a no try. The knock on. So we'll finish with the six tries <laughs> and the 36 points. And they'll be disappointed in Gibson Park. Six in total. The Italians just could wow. find their way. Never really brought an attacking threat. 36 to 0. Thank you to Ireland for being the one team to not disappoint me this weekend. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Italy, y'all got to get up in that gym, bro. You got to get up in that gym. You got to start eating that pasta. You know what I'm saying? Get that, uh, get that fettuccine Alfredo, you know what I'm saying, with the steak. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Unless you were forward, then like maybe just the steak. You know what I'm saying? Like a baked potato or something. But for the rest of y'all, y'all need fettuccine Alfredo, some gnocchi, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Some linguine. <laughs> With the sauce. And some steak. All right, man? Y'all got to get, get they go, then go bench press for three hours straight. Just bench press. Don't do nothing else. And, sh and lateral raises. And then maybe like one of those, go hit some back. Hit some squats, do some deadlifts. You know what I mean? Get big on them. But that's it. Y'all let me know what you think about <laughs> the match and everything, man. Um, let me know how you felt about the whole weekend um, with all the matches. I will be doing a prediction video. I'm going to do it a little bit earlier in the week. 
So as soon as the squads get announced, that's when I'll do uh, the prediction video. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. I hope you guys enjoy the Super Bowl. If you are NFL fans who are watching, I hope you enjoy the Super Bowl. If you can't enjoy the Super Bowl, I will be doing reaction to the highlights from it. So that's it. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Uh, remember to keep it real. Real is rare and real always reaches everyone. Till next time. Peace.